Alright, hey, what up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with another mod showcase for Rimworld 1.1, and this is the Backup Power mod. Now, I've done a video before called Backup Generators, where I spoke of something relatively similar to this, although what that was, was it was basically a battery that turned on once you've used up a certain amount of power. This is a bit different. So this is the Backup Power mod made by Fluffy. And it adds in this little box over here called the backup power control box. Which you can make out of a whole range of different materials, metals mostly. And what this allows you to do is to customize when exactly your generators should be turned on or off. So as you can see, I've got a very basic setup here. So just a regular battery, two power switches here. And then the steel backup power control box attached to the Chemfield power generator. So as you can see on the backup um, power control box, you have this power control button here. And what this allows you to control is when it will turn on. So if it turns on below a certain amount of power, so you can see current power stored 94%, turns on below 90%, turns off above 100%. And the reason why that's important is because as you can see, the Chemfield power generator over here is set off right now. So it's toggled off. And if I go ahead and flip the switch, you'll see the power is at 94%. So that's how much the battery's at. It'll drain a bit. 93. As these things drain electricity. And it turns this on until it refills it back up to whatever it needs to be. It won't refill it because these things are power guzzlers. But I can turn them off. And it does the exact same thing. So this will turn off when it needs to, so it'll generate enough power as the battery fills up slowly but surely. Set back to 100% and then it'll turn it off. Uh, by default it goes at 100% here, so it turns on uh, uh, below 100%. But I've just set it to 90% because the battery degrades or the battery gets rid of power automatically. So what it does is if you have it set up to a battery like this, it'll just keep turning it on and off. But it sort of does a disservice to connect it to batteries because this is what it's meant to mitigate. See, the thing is you can't put them on to solar panels. You basically can only connect them up to things that you can turn on and off. So if you wanted to do, see if I can quickly snipe a geothermal generator here. So if you wanted to do this, it wouldn't work because you cannot just turn the geothermal generator off. Uh, same with the solar panel. Can't turn it on or off. And the exact same thing with the wind turbine. So it's just these two, basically. It's the wood fire and the Campfield power generator. It may work with mods. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't tested any yet. But uh, if it does, do leave a comment in uh, the comments below saying if it does or not. Now, it would not be a proper Barky video if I didn't go all out and just show you how cool this thing actually is. So I've done the exact same setup here. A whole bunch of these have one switch over here and then connected to a whole bunch of these uh, electric smelters. Basically, it's a giant one of these sets up, setups. Go ahead and do this. And then watch the minute I turn this off, these all of these switched off will turn on. You see it in action. And then they'll start flicking between on and off because there's just not enough of these to actually take up all of the uh, excess power that's going through them. Which is quite cool. I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be. It is one of the cooler mods I've seen. I do love mods like these. Um, but it's very simple. I like that a lot. One thing I'd love to see is I'd love for it to be able to be connected to batteries. Uh, directly to them. Like that. But it can only be put on power generators at the moment. Which kind of sucks. But I can understand why. Um, but it would be nice if we had that option. Or maybe if there was an add-on to the mod. I don't know how difficult modding actually is so i never ever want to say it should be simple uh we can do this how much are we in excess here i can't actually tell how much excess we have because they're all just turning on and off another thing i'd love to see is to be able to manipulate all the boxes uh at once but you can only do it to one the first one you select so look if i connect or if i select all of them here and I change this, it only changes it for one. So if I go to another random one here, it won't be the same. Uh, that would be cool if you could mass do that. But I suppose, I mean, you're not going to really have this many ever. <laughs> I don't see why you'd ever do this. But in terms of bases, you don't really need a battery with these things on. Because you can just turn your generator off whenever you're not using the power. 
So combine this with a mod that say turns tables off when you're not, when you're not using them, and it makes this mod it makes the game a whole lot easier. Excuse me. Anyways, that's basically it. Made by Fluffy, he makes amazing stuff as per usual. This is no exception. It is an awesome mod, so please go give it a try. Put a link to it in the description below. Go send him some love. Tell him what you think of it, and if you use this mod, tell me about it. Just for what's coming up on the channel, I am currently working on the Vanilla Expanded Factions Insects mod, so that is in the works, and Save Our Ship 2 is another one that I'm working on. If you have any mods that you want me to see, please put them in the description below. I have been out of the game for a while, literally. And also, as for that, I'm streaming more often, so if you want to come join my streams, uh, please feel free to. I stream on YouTube, so just hit the bell. I'll see you guys there. Take care. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.